is uh, IFSEC and presented by Michael Stanford. Michael, whenever you're ready. Thank you. Good evening and thank you for the opportunity to speak tonight. My name is uh, Michael, this here is Brody. Video gaming is a two-dimensional product. Its experience is limited to sight and sound. We are providing a new dimension, that third dimension, taking it to a whole different level. Today, gamers have their noses pressed up to the glass of their monitors and TVs, wishing they could go through to the other side, to that other world, to sense and feel what it's like to be there in that moment. AREG, which stands for as real as it gets, is that portal through that glass. It is wearable technology. It's a suit that stimulates the senses where gamers can now feel the rain on their shoulders, the rumble of the tank, the concussion of sound and debris, where they are drowned in the sensation of sound in their gaming world. AirRig is multi-platform. It works with all other peripherals, the Xbox, Sony PlayStation. It allows total mobility for the user and has the potential to work with other major entertainment media sources. For the 40 million American and Western European male gamers between the age of 18 and 45 who are constantly looking for and driven by that advancement in virtual reality, AirRig is as real as it gets. They are gamers who play first person or third person action, adventure, fighting, racing, role playing, or shooter games on the PlayStation or Xbox. This is our initial market. And to access this market, we're using a direct e-commerce business model. Our Kickstarter campaign will be our initial pathway into this market. When online sales reach critical mass, retail outlets will be explored. Our team will see this project through development to commercialization, and it consists of a six-member scientific advisory board and five core members. The core team experience includes engineering, hardware and software development, manufacturing, procurement, distribution, and finance. Some of our milestones to date include a prototype and principle, development specifications and costs, trademarks in Canada and the U.S., patent protection, and the design and structure of our e-commerce and community-based website. Our current focus is to determine the viability of this product and solidify the demographics of our early innovators and early adopters through our upcoming Kickstarter campaign. To bring Eric to the consumer, we need your help. The funding from the N100 program will help us provide the funding for the development of a fully functional prototype. For video gamers, AirRig is the difference. It's the difference between watching the TV and being there. Thank you. Thanks, Michael. And uh, a couple of questions from Shirley and Blake, but if, uh, if we can keep the answers as crisp as possible. Please. Sure. Yeah. Shirley? Uh, is, is, do you have a, an example of a comparable product on the market, and if so, how did it get? Um, okay, so there are the comparable products. Uh, TN Games made a thing called Third Space Gaming Vest. So it's a vest, and it just has pneumatics that punch on the front and the back, four spots in front, four spots in the back. It's like $135, and that's all it is. The other one is D-Box, which makes chairs. They go in the theater, or you can have them in the house. They're about $3,000. So those are the differentiation of price points. That's sort of what they are. Okay. Hi. Kind of continuing that line of thought, uh, you're talking about a consumer electronic product, and lots of money is made but also lost in, in that business. What it, is it that you think you have an equation that can make a business that can make money out of something like this, as about, opposed to just a prototype that works and maybe is entertaining, but that doesn't necessarily translate into a product and a, and a building a market business that is profitable. Okay, um, well first off, since we're doing Kickstarter, this is sort of help us with where our margins are and price points are on things. We can slowly build up what the price should actually be as people give us pledges. So that at least will help us know where we're pretty much able to scale the product to be. Um, you also, sorry. Um, well, do you have a gross margin? In, in, in mind for your product? Do you have any idea what it's going to cost? Or sell? Oh yeah, we have, we have certain costs of what's actually going to cost for manufacture. The only thing is um, for actual cost for how much we're going to sell it for is dependent on how Kickstarter works out. Because as if more people are willing to spend more and more money on Kickstarter pretty much, that will determine where we start. So our margin right now we can say is about 30-40% we're thinking for. And it could be bigger depending on what people are willing to spend. Alright, thank you. Okay. Thank you guys.